obviously Florence Nightingale was the founder of nursing. And in her work in Crimea, she realized the importance of cleanliness. So now we know every time we do not wash our hands when we either enter or leave a patient's room, that we may be spreading dangerous viruses and bacteria from one patient to another, from one staff member to another, from one area to another that we can pick up and take to other um, patients that are very vulnerable. Hand hygiene is, is so important for providers at our UHS. Without performing hand hygiene, we're going to be increasing the risk for hospital-acquired infections. Uh, this is at the core of who we are as providers, to reduce the risk of infections for patients that we serve in the hospital. Hand hygiene is, is something that all of us need to follow. This applies to nursing staff, physicians, residents, all staff members within the hospital to help reduce infections in our hospital. All of us need to think about what we're doing, wash our hands when we enter a room before we touch our patients, wash our hands before we exit a room to prevent spread of germs and bacteria to other patients, other staff members, other areas of the hospital. Remember, CDC's Project First Line has infection prevention trainings designed by healthcare workers for healthcare workers. We have the power to stop infections together.